All right. Hi, Cornerstone family. Jonathan's taller than we are. Um, so I don't know about you guys, but with all of the um, situation going on, we have found ourselves exploring every single room in our house, even the creepy part of our basement. Uh, we have been exploring every single room, uh, just trying to stay entertained. But I want you to imagine, what if there was a room in your house that you could only go in once a year? And if you wanted to go in that room in that house, you had to do a lot of special things and you had to wear special clothes to go in that room once a year. That's kind of what it was like for Israel. See, they had the tabernacle and then the temple and there was this one special room that only one person could go in once a year. And when he went in, he had to wear special clothes. That person was the high priest. The high priest could only go in once a year and he had to wear these special clothes. See, he wore, he wore this breastplate that had 12 special stones that represented the 12 tribes of Israel. And he wore this special hat. And on the hat, it said, holy to the Lord. And that's why he could only go in once a year because that special room was called the Holy of Holies. And it's where God's presence dwelled in a really special way. Now, maybe you're wondering, is that still true? Is there a secret room somewhere in the Cornerstone building? And once a year, Pastor Jonathan gets dressed up like this to go inside and talk to God. Um, no, there isn't. You can go in any of the rooms at Cornerstone pretty much. Um, because the Bible tells us that actually we don't have a high priest like this anymore. Instead, the Bible tells us that our high priest is... Elijah, who's this? Who's this guy? Yeah. It's Jesus. Yeah. The Bible tells us that our high priest is Jesus. And that because of what Jesus did for us, living and dying and rising again, we can actually go and be in a special relationship with God. And that because of Jesus, God's Holy Spirit actually comes and lives inside of us. And he makes us holy. So as you explore all of the rooms in your house every day, trying to keep entertained, um, you can think about the fact that we are like God's special holy room now and that the Holy Spirit lives inside of us. And Jonathan's sermon is going to talk a little bit more about what it means that God is holy. So if you're listening to the sermon, listen for that word, holy, 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 just like we just sang, because that's who God is. And that's because of Jesus, we can have a relationship with him. All right. We miss you guys. Say bye-bye. 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 <laughs>